Hi, I'm Dan from Real Mac Software, and welcome to episode five of the Rapid Weaver Elements Developer Diary. Now, I've got some new stuff to show you this week, but before we dive into that, I wanted to touch on a question that has come up quite a few times in the forum, and that is, will my stacks work in Rapid Weaver Elements? Now, I wanted to explain a little bit more about the nuances here and how this works. So, Rapid Weaver Elements, the elements in it are written in its own language. They're brand new, they're modern, and most importantly, they're WYSIWYG, which I'll show you the differences in a minute. Now, Stacks is also written in its own language, so by default, they're just not going to work, uh, they're just not gonna work in Elements. You know, it's like trying to play a PC game on a Mac, it's just not gonna work. So, the developer needs to do some work there. So what we've done, we have, built in some tools to the developer version of Elements so that third-party developers will be able to port their stacks over to Elements and it will get them 90% of the way there but it's not going to do the job 100% completely for them because Elements works very differently to stacks and to demonstrate that I just kind of wanted to show the difference between the views so if we go over here and I've got Elements up and you can see, um, while this page doesn't look great because we haven't designed it yet, we'll get onto that in this video, but everything is WYSIWYG. Now, when I uh, switch between edit and preview mode, I'm currently, in, um, I'm currently in edit, but if I go to preview, it looks exactly the same. And I click again and I'm back to edit. And I, you know, I can change these things um, and I can edit them just like this. And this is showing me what the actual page will look like. Now, if we go over to uh, Rapid Weaver Classic, uh, I've got a typical project open here, and this is using um, Stacks, and I've got Foundry, so I've built this site in Foundry, and this is the Rapid Weaver Classic site. So I'm in edit mode, and if I go to preview, there's my built site, and it looks completely different. So if I go back to edit, you can see the menus up here, and it doesn't look the same, and I've got this text, with these boxes around it and my buttons don't look similar so go back to there and then it's changed so this really kind of highlights the difference here you're kind of building this layout but it's not true WYSIWYG it doesn't look exactly like it does on the page and this is one of the reasons why um, we can't just convert these over to elements because we can do all the hard work in the background and change the language and um, convert it so that it works in elements, but you don't want it looking like this. This isn't what we're aiming for, um, which is really important. You know, you want, if you just put stacks in here, it, it wouldn't look great. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't move us forward in making sites easy to design. Now, classic and stacks are amazing and they work just great and it's a solid system. It's been around for over 10 years and it works and that's great and you can continue using that. But um, if you wanna use your stacks in Elements, you're gonna to need to get the developers to convert them and update them for this experience. Um, and I know some of them are eager to do that and want to do that. We're still building the tools to get that to happen. Um, they're working but uh, they, it needs a little bit of extra work because we're still modifying and developing the elements language. So it's kind of a, a bit of a chicken and egg thing there. It's gonna take time. Um, and it's gonna, that stuff's gonna happen more towards uh, when we launch elements as, as we approach towards that. So, um, so that's a bit of an update on that, on kind of will or won't my stacks work in elements. Uh, I hope that's kind of cleared things up a little bit for you. I'm sure you'll have more questions and do feel free to ask them down below and I can answer them in next week's video. Uh, but I just wanted to answer that because I thought it was important. So let's now dive into what's new in Elements. And there is an incredible amount new um, and I'm not gonna touch on it all today. It's just the team has been really busy. There's been lots of updates to the engine and to the actual elements. So I'm gonna touch on a few nice little things. So I have this uh, basic page set out here, which isn't looking too great at the moment. And I've got it set up with a section and I've got some flex boxes here. Now flex boxes are 
really good at laying out content and they're really flexible, especially um, when you're doing responsive design. And here, so I've got these two items and they're both in a flex box. You can see I've got two little flex items here, one for the text and one for the image. Um, and they're both set to, so if I, let me, I've got this flex item selected here and on the sizing, they're both set to take up half the space, but I want my text to take up more room and I want this icon to be smaller. So what I'm going to do, on the, uh, let's select the parent there, on the flex item, I'm gonna set it to this uh, three fourths there. And on here, we just want this, there we are on one fourth. And that has made that smaller. Um, so now I've got more room here and my icon smaller. So that's, that's, looking, uh, that's looking pretty good. Let me just add a little bit of padding on there so we can see. So now that is looking, that layout is looking a lot better. Um, and another nice thing on the flex, uh, so these are all new additions we've added here. There's a lot of options in here and I'm not gonna go over everything because um, flex can get pretty complicated and there's a lot of options. But one of the nice things we can do is we can I could select this flex item and I could actually say, well, I don't want it to be there. I want that to appear as the first item. And so then it jumps to the beginning or I want it to be the last item. And this is really helpful if you've got a lot of these, then you can, um, then you can set them. And you can, obviously, you can also set the manual position as well. Uh, but we're gonna leave this on auto so it uses this, uh, this layout. But this is very handy if you wanted to change it um, on the on the different breakpoints because of course we can override with with that option there let me just go so i want to show you something on the overall flex as well is that we can change the layout for these currently i've got the direction set to row um, but i can make it column so that they appear you know um, on top of each other in columns um, but uh, what I want to do, what we want to do on, on here, this looks great like that, but when I get to larger sizes, I want to override this and we want to change it so I can switch to row. So now when I'm at my smaller size, they are on top of each other. And then when I come out bigger, it puts them side by side. And you know, with, with this system, we can, I can change that at each break point. So I could put the, uh, put that in reverse order when we get to here. So now as I go, you can watch these up here, uh, change as I change through each one, there we are, it flips around. So it's really flexible for you to control the kind of layout you want. So um, lots of changes there. Like I said, I'm not going to go through over all the options, but it's getting really powerful and really flexible uh, as they are called flex. Uh, that was no, <laughs> no pun intended there. Right. Uh, section. Uh, little updates on the section. Um, well, there's quite a lot of updates on the section, but I'm not going to go over all of them. Uh, but I did want to show you a few things. So we can uh, put in an image uh, and I've already got an image set up in there. Um, and again, I can remove that and we can just drag these in. So uh, I could just drop that, oops, if I dropped it in the right place, I could just drop that in there and that's nice, you know, so I can do that. Uh, let's remove that and we now have support for video. And I know this is something that people were asking for and say, well, do, does the background support videos? And at the time um, it wasn't quite polished, it wasn't quite ready to show off, but it does now. So I can drop this in here. And now my video is playing. And one of the incredible things here is that we can continue to edit the site and the video continues to play. And this is incredible. Like everything is updating in real time. And I'm gonna show you that with the fonts in a second. And um, the video is still playing. And it's, you know, it's incredible to see the site working like this. So let's, uh, you know, I can, and I can even change the opacity there and you can see it changing. Um, let me go up here. And one thing I wanted to show you on this, we had, um, there were, <laughs> there's a lot of bits and pieces. Uh, you know, there's a lot happening. One, one of the um, 
questions was, do we support WAF? And yes, I've, 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 I had already dropped it in there. But the font, if I can go back there and I can just drop it in and then it updates. Um, so yes, we support WAF fonts because I know that was a question from last week. Um, of course, they're in there. And let me, uh, let's see what the, uh, so style 5XL, I'm just gonna override this. Let's override that and uh, let's do that. So you can see the video is still playing and I can just scale this font and it scales dynamically. And this is absolutely wild to, to see this happening in real time. Um, it's super, super way to work. You know, I can adjust the, the space between the fonts there, all cool stuff. Uh, so we got that going on. Um, down here, let's have a look. The, again, this is a this is a, similar to the top one. This is a different section. Um, I might just change. I might just change this one to an image uh, because that is uh, going off there. We don't need that playing while we're trying to concentrate on this. And I'm trying to demo this to you. So in here we can um, let's have a look now on the section. We can change the um, from a solid background color. So you know we have all our colors set up here that we've that we've set up in um, in the theme studio. But we can change it to a gradient. So now I've got this two point gradient, and uh, I can add a third point. So here you can see I've now I've got this third point, and we can change the opacity of the gra the gradient. And I can just click these and change the color. You know, I can drop that down and go to white there. Uh, but I kind of like the primary or let's do tertiary. There we go. So we've got a nice strong blue, but we can also change the position of that gradient. So I can pull this one. If I pull it right back, it makes, uh, you know, you've got a thick band, a thin band of color there. So you can you can play with the point of where where the colors blend. Um, so this is the middle color. So we could bring that right up. Um, yeah, and you, you know, you can get some nice effects by doing this. And that's very cool, but I'm gonna keep it. Let's put that 50%, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep it like that. So what else? Um, so now I've got my text here and let's make this bigger. And with text, we can also do gradients on that. So now I've got this, uh, let's change that and I can change the colors here. So we've got this three point gradient and I can change uh, again. It's the same as the background. I can change all, all that and we can change where the um, where the gradients happening, you know, which direction. Top left, top right, and uh, I could change the position there. Where's uh, top to bottom. Bring, yeah, so you know, it, uh, it's kind of cool you can do this stuff. We could bring that up. Um, you know, so you can do some really uh, crazy wild layouts with this. And one of the other questions people were asking, can you put images in text? And yes, you can now. So uh, let's drop something in there. Uh, we've got this paint. If I just drop that there and it places it behind the text and, you know, and that just stays there. I can change these. Uh, and uh, what was what was that on? That's on 9XL. Let's just override that override. And of course, again, it's all live and I'm doing this, you know, I'm moving that and you can see it all just happening live there which is uh, awesome, which is very awesome. So yeah, so that is, um, I mean, there's <laughs> there's so many things we've updated here. Let's drop a, let's just drop a video in there. Where am I? I want my video, boom. Oh, and uh, we'll get rid of the gradient. There we go. Um, yeah, so now we've got that going on. And I've even got a background overlay here. So I've got my video playing and I can just overlay that purple or go to tertiary. So this stuff, you know, and that's all 
playing live and I could go back here and change my font and this stuff this really is absolutely wild playing with this stuff um, it's been amazing to see all of this come together and how powerful this system is and remember this is in edit mode so we're not in preview we're in edit and it looks how our website's going to look this stuff is so great to play with and just to tweak that design and get things looking how you want them to look um, so you can see things are really starting to come on we're really starting to add polish and these elements are really starting to take shape so uh, that's it for this week um, quite uh, quite a packed up day and quite scattered and a, and a lot of little features there but I hope that kind of gives you a sense of where we are with the team and like we're you know we're there's stuff happening in uh elements you know there's new ui things being added and there's the elements are being built by ben as well and then and that's all happening and tom's working on the app and it's all really coming together we've still got a way to go but things are looking really really promising and i hope you love this video and i hope you love where elements is headed so that's it for this week. I will be back next week with another video. Thanks for watching as always. And if you have any questions about any of this stuff, ask it down below in the comments. All right. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.